Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, first impressions, full and depth reviews, and top 10 lists and giveaway announcements. So if you like this type of content, do not forget to show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Today's video is pretty cool. Shout out to the company Nice for All. I'll leave the website down below. They're a brand from Sweden. They talk about, basically they have a niche brand where they talk about clones, inspiration, dupe fragrances that are a little more affordable than your two, $300, $400 niche fragrances on the market. Thank you guys for sending me these bottles. I really do appreciate it from the brand Niche For All. I bought two fragrances not so long ago. I did videos on Cement and Sisters Lavender. Both of those fragrances are amazing. So I sent them the videos. They said, oh, thanks for sending the videos. Would you like to try more of our product? I said, yes, definitely. They said, pick out whatever three fragrances you want. I picked out these three fragrances and they sent them to me um, to do reviews and first impressions. So all opinions are my own. They did not pay me any money or anything like that. So definitely check out the website. I'll leave the link down below. It's the box it comes in. Just like when I order the other ones, the brand is made out of Sweden, overseas. And it's a niche brand that makes clones or inspiration of high-end uh, niche fragrances that are more expensive at two, $300. These are gonna run you about 58 bucks for 30 mil and 100 mil is gonna run you 98 bucks. So not too bad. Open up the box here. And you're greeted with a letter and samples, <laughs> which they always send you samples when you order something, which is cool. They have a letter inside here. Tell them to thank you um, for supporting the brand. So I have three fragrances here. I'll zoom in and show you. This is pretty cool. Amber Vetiver, Honey Tobacco, and Patchouli TB. So I got an order where I want to talk about them, Patchouli Tobacco. Let's see how this one smells. I haven't smelled it, it's my first impression. I will be doing a giveaway as well. So each one of these fragrances here, I will be giving away two samples of each one of these fragrances. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, Catch the Fragrance, by leaving a comment down below saying subscribe to the channel and what's your favorite fragrance you bought this year. Patchouli Tobacco. I'll post notes on the screen so you guys can see it. Here we go, moment of truth. All right, sprayers are good. Mm, this is real good. So this one here has notes of uh, green apple, nutmeg. We have tonka bean, rose. Wow, this is really nice. Very, very sweet, smoky um, fragrance for like the fall and winter time. Definitely pick up that green apple in the opening. Up a lot of tonka bean in this fragrance, which is really nice. It was very nicely blended. Definitely do pick up. The vanilla and the patchouli as well in this fragrance is very nicely blended and very strong. You don't need many sprays of this one. From the test strip, it's like psh, right in your face as soon as you spray it. Give this one a 7.5 out of 10 off of first impression. It's really good. I'll definitely be doing a giveaway as well as this for two samples of this fragrance as well. Next fragrance I'm going to talk about is honey. It's honey tobacco. I'm going to post the notes on the screen here. You guys can see it. Here we go. Oh, this is nice too. Oh, this is really good. Mm. So the honey tobacco, you definitely get that honey in the opening. It's right in your face. You definitely do get a freshness with the bergamot and lemon as well. Oh, this is really good. I like this one. This one's fire, guys. This one is easy a nine out of 10. This is amazing. I, I love the way this smells. Nicely well blended with the opening with the fresh with the bergamot and lemon. And then that does calm down a little bit. You definitely pick up the honey and the tonka bean and vanilla. You definitely do get a the tobacco feel in the fragrance as well. Yep, this one so far is my favorite um, from the brand right here. Definitely check this one out right here. This is Honey Tobacco. Last but not least, number three is called Amber Vetiver. So this one, you definitely do pick the vetiver, but you get like a freshness in this as well, kind of watery. Bergamot is Nice. Definitely do pick up that Immortal in a fragrance. Definitely after a couple minutes, you definitely pick that up. Pick up the Amber Touch in a fragrance as well. This is one I feel like you could just a spray and go fragrance. Like say you're going a date night, work, business meeting, you just grab it and spray it. Like it's gonna be a dumb reach type of fragrance for me. But the other two I feel like are more, um, maybe more dressed up or maybe, um, maybe somewhere important you're going because 
Those other ones seem a little bit too strong to wear to the office, in my opinion, but I haven't put them on skin, so they may not be as strong, but on test strip, they're super strong. This one here is kind of mild, casual. It doesn't seem like it's projecting heavily off the test strip, but it's pleasant. Pick up a vetiver greenness in the fragrance as well. You pick up the amber touch, but vetiver is kind of like playing the whole role here, kind of vetiver green-like. And I want to say fresh. I wouldn't say dirty vetiver where it's like kind of like off-putting. It's kind of green, kind of fresh. This is nice with a little bit of sweetness touch with the amber, but the amber is kind of subtle, but the vetiver is kind of like the main, fr main front of the fragrance. Yeah, I like this one too. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 off of first spray. This is my, my least, my third favorite. My first favorite is going to be Honey Tobacco. And my second to first favorite is Patchouli uh, TB. When I do the full reviews on these fragrances, I will definitely be testing out the performance, projection, longevity, comment factor, see if Kelly likes them. Maybe I have her in the videos. But all first impression, they all smell great. But out of these three, if I can only buy one, I would definitely just buy the Honey Tobacco. This just smells amazing. I don't know what it is about it. It just gives you that freshness with that fall ass point with the honey and tobacco, and it's just beautiful. Like I can see myself wearing that in the autumn when the leaves are falling, cold outside, nice leather jacket, dress shoes, maybe going somewhere special with Kelly or just going out with the guys hanging out. So this fragrance is fire. Thank you for Niche For All for sending me these products to try out. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out these products, I'll leave a link down below. They have deals where you buy three and you get um, one for free. So you buy two of them, you get one fragrance free of your choice, whether you buy 100 ml bottles or 30 ml bottles. I'll leave the website down below. There's no kickbacks, whatever you buy, just enjoy it. I'm just basically giving information about the brand. So this is not a sponsored video at all. Thank you guys for watching. If you heard this brand, what is your favorite from Niche For All? Leave a comment down below. If you want to be part of the giveaway, really simple. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Casual Fragrances. Let me know down below um, where you're from and what sample do you want. Do you want Amber Vetiver? Do you want Honey Tobacco? Or do you want Patchouli TB? Leave a comment down below. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next full review coming up real soon. Peace.